National Headquarters of FIRST, I'm Michelle Long. And I'm Janelle Schwanier, FLL Project Manager, bringing you up-to-the-minute news about the FLL World Class Global Challenge release. Our final story comes to us from the field, the actual field, where FLL engineer and game designer Scott Evans is waiting to give you the rundown on this year's robot game. You can download the full challenge document that details the field setup, rules, and missions from firstlegoleague.org. Don't forget to read the challenge document, because this broadcast won't go into the same detail. Think of this more as our highlights reel. That's right, Janelle. And be sure to keep up on the robot game updates, also at firstlegoleague.org. Any changes or clarifications will be posted there throughout the season. Now let's go to Scott, who's standing by on our field. Scott? Hi. I'm Scott Evans, FLL Engineer and Game Designer. Welcome to the 2014 Robot Game. Opening Doors. When pictures and words are sufficient tools for learning, the classroom will always make sense. But when actual people, places, and things and activities to be better, it's time to get out of the classroom and make the world your class. For this mission, the robot needs to push the lever down and open up the door some obvious amount. Cloud Access. Unthinkable volumes of knowledge exist on the internet cloud, but you need to continually master each new technology required to access it. We've seen desktops, laptops, tablets, and phones so far, but what's the next key? For this mission, you need to understand how the cloud model works and design a key for it. Then it's the robot's job to precisely insert the key, which will cause the SD card to rise. Community learning. Out in your community, from everyone you meet, everything you see, and everything you try, you take away some knowledge or skill, often without even knowing it. With this in mind, start to seek life's lessons and pay attention. Instead of learning things passively or by accident, you can shape your learning any way you like. For this mission, the robot needs to completely remove the knowledge and skill loop from the community tree. Robotics Competition Robotics programs like FLL are a wonderful way to learn complex lessons, yes, about technology, but other fields, such as sociology and project management, while actually having fun. For this mission, the robot needs to place the robotics insert into the robotic arm to release and completely remove the knowledge and skill loop. Using the right senses. People have different learning styles. For example, someone might not remember much about what her teacher tells her, but can remember almost everything she reads. Someone else might do best with pictures. Figure out your learning style and let your teachers know about it. Do what you can to make this awareness work for you. For this mission, the robot needs to locate and push the slider, then completely remove the knowledge and skill loop. This job will probably require the use of sensors, but which ones are up to you. Thinking outside the box. Before the 1950s, cars were made strong and tough, and injuries from car accidents were very common. Then, someone had the innovative idea to make the structure of front ends weaker. Yes, weaker. And injury rates fell sharply. For this mission, the robot needs to get the idea completely out of the box, and there's a bonus for the light bulb facing up. By the way, the robot's not allowed to bring the box to base. Sorry. Remote communication and learning. Through the magic of digital media, we can interact with people anywhere on the globe. Now sure, it's cool to learn about a scientist's work, but an interactive video lecture from that same scientist would sink in a lot deeper. Different continents? Doesn't matter. For this mission, the robot needs to pull the camera's slider west and this should cause the faraway video screen to pop up, if the models were set up perfectly. Don't worry if the screen doesn't pop up, you'll still score. Search Engine As mentioned above, unthinkable volumes of knowledge exist on the internet cloud, but so do unthinkable volumes of junk and hogwash. Of course, there are brilliant search engines such as Google to help you find what you ask for, but it's up to you to be sure that what you ask for is what you need. For this mission, the robot needs to push the slider east to spin the wheel. Then the robot needs to read the wheel and determine which single knowledge and skill loop to completely remove. If there's only one color in the window, that's the color to remove. If there are two colors in the window, the remaining color is the one to remove. Taking two colors is allowed, but voids the mission. Sports. Many common sports are just engaging experiments in physics, math, material science, and psychology. Friction, projectile motion, ballistics, measurement, ethics, statistics, on and on. Pay attention in gym class and you'll get a lot more than exercise. For this mission, the robot needs to take a shot from behind the shot line and there's a bonus if the ball stays in the goal. Reverse engineering. In our never ending quest to improve things, we don't want to copy the competition, but we'd better at least understand what they're up to. 
so it's very common for companies to buy each other's products and take them apart to check them out. In order to improve upon other designs, you need to at least be able to replicate them. For this mission, each team will build a unique structure and place it in the other team's basket before the match starts. The robot will score for retrieving the basket, and the team will get a bonus for hand-building an exact replica of the other team's structure. Adapting to changing conditions. In the last few centuries, our food dependence has shifted from hunting and gathering to farming to agribusiness. Our economies have bounced around between architecture, energy, manufacture, and technology. These changes are happening faster and faster. Time-honored practices of the past are no longer serving us. How can our educational institutions keep pace? For this mission, the robot needs to index the model 90 degrees counterclockwise. Apprenticeship. Why does the burden of education fall on teachers alone while there are tens of millions of experts outside the schools? Whatever happened to old-fashioned apprenticeship, where a topic expert teaches in return for some help? For this mission, you design and supply a model which represents a skill, achievement, career, or hobby that has meaning to your team. Then attach the two people to it and get it out there by having the robot deliver it to the circle in the northwest corner. Engagement. We tend to care about and remember things we were emotional about. Things that are scary, amazing, funny, sad, and strange. And we forget about things we thought were irrelevant or boring. You need to be engaged in order to make a serious learning progress. So next time you have to learn something, think of a method that really turns your crank. For this mission, the robot needs to move the yellow bar south to engage the gears. Then, for every 90 degree turn of the pinwheel, a higher and higher multiplier is applied to the rest of your score. Small catch though, the pinwheel can only be spun a maximum of 180 degrees during any one robot outing. Project-based learning. We've all heard of the senior project where you add to, reinforce, and polish the knowledge and skills you've been accumulating, but why isn't there a freshman project or a seventh grade project? Since big, serious but cool projects are so effective, why aren't we doing lots of them? Since we learn by doing, this mission is about us using the knowledge and skills we work so hard for to have some fun and get things done. For this mission, the robot needs to put loops on the scale. The more the better. Penalties. Your personal role in FLL Robotics is to design the robot to do things. You don't help the robot do things. You're not supposed to help it, move it, move things, or help it move things. So most of that's not allowed, but some of it is allowed with penalty. A touch penalty has to do with touching the robot while it's out of base. A sprawl penalty has to do with size inefficiency and massive objects the robot is unable to demonstrate control over. A junk penalty has to do with refuse inefficiency and scattered objects the robot doesn't recover. Thanks, Scott. Don't forget to read the complete challenge and check in frequently on the Robot Game updates. If you still have Robot Game questions, you can then email Scott directly at flrobotgame at usfirst.org. And most importantly, don't forget to have fun. Good luck, teams, and have a wonderful season.